I waited to work on Clev products for quite some time, actually a couple of years maybe, and finally we have their products on the channel. Today we're going to talk about quite outstanding M.2 SSD. This is the Clev Essencore Cross C930 M.2 PCI Gen 4 x 4 with 1TB of storage and you have 2TB version as well which is outstanding. Now when, before we go any further the 1TB goes up to 7400MB per second read and 6400MB per second write. Now of course I'm going to do benchmarks and all the other stuff but before we go any further I think it's quite important to give you some heads up on the specifications and special features that this M.2 has. The box contains of course the M.2 but it also comes with an optional add-on aluminum heatsink, uh, has DRAM cache buffer, intelligent SLC caching algorithm, smart for condition monitoring, LDPC, ECC and global wear leveling plus powerful AES 256-bit encryption. Since I already went through all the main features, it was quite fast, I have to say, that uh, already made this Cross C930 M.2 SSD interesting, let's uh, run through some specs, right? So, Clev gave us a choice when it comes to storage capacity with 1 and 2 terabytes, and even though 1 terabyte in their performance specifications shows less sequential write performance compared to the 2 terabyte version, just by 400 megabytes, which isn't that drastical, I'm really looking forward where will this one stack up in the graph I have shown you guys for the past two years. Now let's continue with specs before we head over to the benchmarks. We have InnoGrid IG5236 controller, strictly selected 3D TLC NAND flash, endurance for 1TB is 750 TBW while 4D 2TB is 1500 TBW. Size with the heatsink is 80x23.6x8.7mm and the total weight with it is 23 grams, while without it is only 7 grams, unnoticeable. We have a flat fin heatsink which will lower down the thermals up to 20% compared to non-heatsink SSDs, which prevents overheating and gives you long-term reliability to extend its life, not to mention the prevention of thermal throttling. The design of the heatsink is minimalistic, but looks sharp for sure. Would blend onto any motherboard quite nicely. What I also need to mention is that it's compatible with PlayStation 5 with the passive cooler supplied with Clev, so there's another use of it instead of only using it in your desktop computer. Now placing the heatsink on the M.2 SSD, don't forget to remove the plastic cover of the adhesive tape from the bottom of the heatsink, otherwise no sense in placing it because, well, first of all, it won't hold because underneath the passive heatsink you have a 3M sticker plus thermal pad that goes in together, so yeah, there's that. Align the heatsink on the center of the Cross C930 to cover the surface area. The chips need to face the passive heatsink for better cooling, obviously, and then just press down the heatsink evenly, which will make the contact through the adhesive tape to the M.2 SSD. Now let's check the benchmarks. This is what I was looking forward to. AES SSD read speeds go up to 6164.51 megabytes. Write speeds go up to 623.69 megabytes per second. Now, as you already noticed, AES SSD kind of shows lower benchmarks, lower scores, and when we go to Auto Disk Benchmark and Crystal Disk Mark, we get more relevant information. So, Auto Disk Benchmark read speeds go up to 6.95 gigabits per second, while the write speeds go up to 6.45 gigabytes per second. Crystal Disk Mark read speeds go up to 7337.95 megabytes per second, while the write speeds go up to 6895.64 megabytes per second. In Crystal Disk Mark, also we did IOPS read test with 1.14 million, while the IOPS in write go up to 1.03 million. Uh, transferring 19.1 GB file as I already did in a couple of benchmarks before, I wanted to test out it again. Read speeds go up to 4.03 GB per second, while the write speeds go up to 3.41 GB per second. There's also one thing, thermals, right? So if I use the M.2 SSD naked as it is and place a passive heatsink from the motherboard on it, the thermals went up to 61 degrees Celsius. Now the heatsink originally from the Cross C930 the thermals go up to 58 degrees Celsius, which is quite cool because it lowers down the thermals compared to the motherboard heatsink, and that's really nice actually. 
I mean, let's be honest, it really does look quite nice, quite minimalistic. You have a Clev logo right here with a couple of lines going throughout. Cross C930, just so you know the model name. And it is quite nice looking passive heatsink, I do have to say. But there's one more catch. If you place the passive heatsink on your SSD, it stays there because you have adhesive tape which sticks to the chips and it doesn't move after that whatsoever. So you either have to heat it up to remove it, my guess is, because otherwise you might be uh, removing the chips as well accidentally because of the strong tape and uh, holding it to the uh, M.2. But regardless of that, whatever you choose, it's going to be quite all right with it. Now, when we take into consideration all the benchmarks that I did, uh, Honestly, what can I say? It ranks up really high on the table of speeds with other SSDs and this is outstanding. The price tag at the time of the recording of this video is only $84, which is brilliant because it comes to affordable stage when Gen 4 times 4 SSDs with great speeds and when you add the 5 year warranty, it's a brilliant combination altogether. Plus you get an Acronis True Image HD 2018. With being one of the fastest Gen 4x4 SSDs on the market, taking into consideration the price as well, Clevcross C930 adding high quality and features, this could easily be PC Crazy Best Buy badge. And I'm not saying this for any other reason except for the performance, the cooling and uh, the price tag, of course. That's why we get a PC Crazy Best Buy badge for the C930. And it's quite perfect for demanding gamers and even professionals, so... I don't think there's anything left to say. If you think Clevcross C930 is the one that will satisfy your needs when we're talking about the speeds and the price and everything else, uh, the link is in the description below for you guys to check it out, of course, and see if the price has changed even lower now. Um, I'm just guessing, of course, uh, the fluctuation of the price can go anywhere. Currently, the prices are going down in general for all M.2 SSDs, but regardless to that, click the link and check out the current price, that's my best bet. So finally, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content, including future Clev videos. Thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.